Prince Philip health fears, frail Duke won't be with us for long as he near centenary. Prince Philip has been hiding at Sandringham since he was released from hospital during the Christmas holidays, sparking fears his health could be deteriorating as he nears 100 years of age. The Duke of Edinburgh scared the nation over Christmas when he got taken to King Edward VII Hospital in central London where he spent four nights. Prince Philip will soon turn 99 and experts have been warning the Duke might not be with us for a lot longer. Former press secretary to the Queen, Dickie Arbiter, claims the Duke is now very frail warning Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should bring back Archie Harrison to the UK from Canada to let his great-grandparents see him as it might be the last time they get the chance to. Speaking to Nine News Australia, Mr Arbiter said, Prince Philip is going to be 99 in June. He's not going to be here much longer. You've got to be practical. He was in hospital over Christmas. He looked pretty frail when he came out and he's up at Sandringham. Nobody has seen him and he is frail. People do get frail at that age. And it would be a great pity if Archie wasn't brought over so his great-grandparents could see him. The Duke of Edinburgh, 98, spends most of his time in Norfolk on the Queen's Sandringham estate. Prince Philip stepped back from royal duties in 2017 but one royal expert believes his poor health could mean the Queen has an Annus Horribilis Part II. Royal expert Angela Mollard said Philip's poor health is on a long list of stresses for the monarch. While discussing Prince Andrew, Ms. Mollard told New Ideas Royals podcast, it's very stressful for the Queen. She's approaching 94 this year it's not like she's not got other things to deal with this year with Megxit, divorces and a an nailing and elderly husband. Ms. Mollard has previously said Philip's health will be one of the Queen's main challenges this year. On the same podcast, she said, I think this could be Anna's Horribilis Part 2, don't you? 1992 was the last time she claimed it was her worst year. Of course, three of her children separated. There was the Windsor Castle fire, all sorts of things happened that year. She's got Prince Andrew's embroilment with the Jeffrey Epstein case, she's got the management of Harry and Meghan exiting the royal family, she's got her own husband's poor health and she's got Beatrice's wedding. She continued, it should be a joyous occasion, but there'll be much speculation around it in terms of who's paying for it and that sort of thing. I think poor Beatrice is going to have a wedding that's going to be embroiled in controversy purely because parts of it will be paid for by the public purse and there'll be questions around that, depending on how the Prince Andrew situation develops. She's got a lot on her plate this year. No wonder she's giving some of her jobs away. Ms. Mollard also suggested the Duke won't be around for the entirety of the Queen's reign which currently stands at 67 years. Her Majesty recently became the fifth longest reigning monarch in the world. Prince Philip, Queen Elizabeth Banter, Duke hilariously told Monarch to shut up. Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth have been married for over 70 years, and they have been each other's strength and stay during this time. In fact, the royal couple has become so close they have hilarious banters behind closed doors. During her appearance on the reign in 2016, Royal author Katie Nichol revealed that the Duke of Edinburgh is one of the few people who can say no to Her Majesty. Apparently, he likes to listen to the television very loudly and she'll say, Philip do turn the television down. And he'll tell her to properly shut up. But you would have that relationship, wouldn't you? Nichol said. In 2012, Prince Harry also shared a rare insight into the Queen and Prince Philip's relationship. He said that the monarch wouldn't have been able to be successful if she didn't have her husband by her side. Regardless of whether my grandfather seems to be doing his own thing, sort of wandering off like a fish down the river, the fact that he's there, personally, I don't think she could do without him, he said. Unfortunately, the Duke of Sussex has grown distant from his grandparents ever since he tied the knot with Meghan Markle. Following his decision to quit the royal family, Prince Philip reportedly became enraged with his grandson. To make things worse, Prince Harry just released a statement where he seemingly dissed his grandmother. Shortly after, he and his wife were accused of disrespecting the 93-year-old monarch. 
Royal author Robert Hardman discussed Prince Harry and Markle's recent actions over the Sussex royal brand ban and accused the royal couple of having bad manners. Hardman said that even the royal couple's supporters had a hard time accepting the fact that they disrespected the Queen. I think given that the Queen has gone out of her way to make this transition for them as smooth and as relatively easy as possible I think it is bad manners, he said on talk radio.